What's up, everybody? Danny from the Famicast. And today we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed Odyssey Cloud version again. But now we're going to talk about the new DLC, Legacy of the First Blade, and how it actually is available on Switch. And I'll be honest, like I was a, I was a little surprised to see this actually come. They basically didn't release it at the same time as it was released on other consoles and the PC and all that stuff. So it just kind of just showed up out of nowhere for me. I was really surprised when I booted up the game and saw it. But it's another thing about this too is really confusing just to see how I can actually buy this. And you'll kind of see that with this video. And if you own the game and you want to get the DLC on this, great. I'm going to do it just kind of just to show you guys how it's done. Um, obviously, keep in mind that this game is only available to play in Japan and that it's only available to play for two years from the time when you actually purchase the actual software. So let's just kind of go ahead and get to it. So as you can see, we're kind of into the client right now and it's as it's booting up. And you'll notice that you can see this new Assassin's Creed Leg Legacy the First Blade little icon that's right here. When you first see it, you're trying to click on it with the pointer and all that, nothing happens. You can go down to the bottom and you can try to press this eShop purchase button, but this is kind of basically taking a look at the game. It's telling you information like, oh, you need to play this for five minutes to test to see if it works. But that's talking about the actual game, not this DLC. So how in the heck can you actually purchase this thing? Well, you can't do it here, oddly enough. You actually have to go to the eShop. So let's go ahead and move over there. And once the eShop's loaded up, what you have to do is go to the search bar and go ahead and search for Assassin's Creed Odyssey like I'm doing right here. And once that's all loaded up, you need to go into the game itself and peruse through all of the details. And if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see a little section for some in-game purchases. And what you need to do is go ahead and click on that. And once that's loaded up, you can see that there's the DLC that you can purchase right there. It's 3,240 yen, which is the going price for this DLC set in Japan. Same on PS2, same on Xbox One, PC, all of that. It equates to a little bit more expensive than what you would buy maybe in, in the United States or Europe, but it's, it's, it's almost the same. So if you want it, you just go ahead and go to the purchase and take care of that. And what you need to do from here is just go into a regular game just like you would normally continue load game or whatever. And when it loads up, you have this little message that comes up and Alexios is saying, hey, what's this? And you see that new quests have been accepted. And if you go into your menu, you can see Hunted, Legacy Chapter, The Horseman Cometh. And all you need to do is just go to this location on your map. So that's it. This is how you can access the Legacy of the First Blade on the Nintendo Switch. Keep in mind, again, you have to be in Japan in order to do this. As it stands right now, there's no way that you can get a season pass on the Switch. You can only buy these piecemeal. And who knows if they're going to do the next set. It's kind of undecided right now, but I think this bodes well for it. If they're willing to release this, then hey, we might be able to get it. So that's pretty cool. All right. So you made it this far in the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, please feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And also be sure to check out our other content that we have here on YouTube. We have podcasts that we do two times a month. We have reviews, all sorts of other videos. Uh, you can also find us on social media on Facebook uh, at the Famicast. You can find us on Twitter at the Famicast. We have our website, thefamilycast.com. Check that out for Nintendo-related gaming news. Again, this has been Danny. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.